Hello everyone, this is CS File Tanchak and I welcome you all on behalf of Bank Exams today. Through this video, we are going to learn about IBPS as a law officer examination, how it is conducted and, and how many subjects and laws we need to learn to appear in this examination. Okay, if any of you are already aware about the process and syllabus of this examination and wants to start preparing for this examination, they can visit our website or they can contact us at given number. You will be guided properly that how to enroll for this examination and how you can start your preparation. Our course is designed specifically for such students who wants to become a law officer in a banking industry. While enrolling for our course, kindly use this coupon code so that you can avail benefit. So let's start to know about this examination, how this is conducted and syllabus of this examination. Now, this examination is conducted in a three stages that is prelims, mains and interview round. Every year in a notification that is mentioned that at least 50 vacancies are every year filled up by this examination specifically related to law officers in banking sector. So this is the very good opportunity for those students who really wish to you know have a career in legal field also this is a banking sector job it gives security of job and also a good career prospect in a legal field. Now moving ahead what is the eligibility criteria who all are eligible to appear in this examination. So very first criteria very simple that this is a law officer examination to fill up the vacancy for a law officer in the banking sector so to have a graduation in a legal field is very important so the student must have a LLB graduation degree second criteria is the student needs to be a member of bar council of india that is the student must have a sanad okay he must he or she must be having an enrollment with the bar council of india there is an age limit also in this examination that is minimum of 20 years of age and maximum is up to 30 years of age, age as on the date mentioned in the notification. So every, in every notification there is one date particularly mentioned that as on this date the person who wants to appear for the examination must be of not more than 30 years or equivalent to 30 years. Okay, moving ahead now. The syllabus of a prelim examination. Prelim examination is divided into three uh, sections. The first section is general awareness, special reference to banking industry. So here general awareness questions will be asked but the focus will be on a banking industry. 50 questions will be asked from this section of the prelims paper and each question will carry one mark okay and time limit for completing 50 questions are 40 minutes second section is reasoning 50 questions each carrying one mark and time allotted is 40 minutes english language also is a part of a prelims paper each question will carry half a mark and total 50 questions will be asked time is same 40 minutes time will be given to you to solve the English language section of prelims paper. Okay, so these are the sections included in a prelims paper and we will go each, we will go through the syllabus of each section of a prelims syllabus, prelims examination. Moving ahead. Now, what all is included in a general awareness section with reference to banking industry? as far as prelims paper is considered. So you need to have a knowledge about banking reforms, international reforms in banking sector, Indian reforms with reference to the banking sector, mergers and other case studies related to banking sector reform. Now if you are aware of the day-to-day -day banking sector news, you must be aware that in recent past, various banks were, you know, conducting mergers, amalgamation schemes of arrangement, capital restructuring and many things are going on. 
many things were you know sh uh, banks were shut down due to you know uh, there was a misbalance and you know inappropriate way of conducting actions and dealing with the people's money etc so these are basically important news about the banking sector and you must know why certain things are happening around so why banks are considering merger why they are filing for a scheme of arrangement why there there you know market share is going up and down what is their balance sheet looking like how much assets they have also if they are they are having an asset what kind of asset they are having okay so all this information once you start reading it you will realize it how to decode everything once you decode the indian banking sector it will really help you to understand and correlate international banking sector and how the both both the market that is indian banking sector and international banking sector depend upon each other and how much they impact each other and help each other grow okay so everything is related as far as money and banking industry is concerned it is very important to correlate everything so the first basic idea is to get the first basic foundation is to get the idea that what is happening around in the banking sector and this once you have a base you start you know developing the correlating everything around at a global level okay so your international reforms and banking sector will also get covered in this now financial markets update important rbi circulars now for this information you have to check every day rbi website what all are the circulars it is not like that every day there will be a new circular but you need to be you know updated about and know you must be in check and contact up, uh, with the rbi websites and government websites to know whenever the new circular and new guidelines are notified okay here you will be notified uh, about such amendments or new guidelines by bank exams today if you have enrolled to our course now financial terms and banking terms this is the basic foundation of your preparation to know financial and banking terms why because once you you know be familiar about the terminology every field has their own language okay for example you are going for a law officer examination so legal field has certain kind of words and communication methods and languages okay they they communicate in a particular terminologies so if you are not aware about those terminologies you won't be able to fit in okay or you, it will be difficult to interpret everything properly okay so it is very important to know the financials and banking terms latest acts related to banking sectors priority sector lendings these are actually the you know day to day uh, news related topics that you will be notified and you will be informed every uh, you know uh, time once you once there is any such kind of event happening by bank exams today capital market and money market fluctuations rbi monetary policy now this is a very important topic specifically because we are in a crisis situation right now. we have everyone together have you know fought with the with the health crisis with financial crisis and our economy is still you know fighting to get at a better and secure place okay because of a pandemic so in this in this particular situation rbi rbi had issued various monetary policies to you know fight with the crisis and deal with the situation and you know you know gather the resources to you know help health sector to help people who are in a vulnerable sections there were so many rbi policies to to read that policies and how they impacted our economy how which strategy worked in which area of economy how they circulated money so all these things you have to analyze properly and read with reference to your examination and understand that that for but this law officer examination what points will be important as far as rbi monetary policy for example you are not economist that you will understand okay that how this graph will move to which area how money will circulate you need a basic idea about how money will circulate but what is important for you to know that is rbi authorized to deal in certain way 
विच प्रोविजन इज बैकिंग अप सर्टन काइंड ऑफ अ डिसीजन विच प्रोविजन वॉज इन्वॉल्व टू यू नो यू नो फ्रेम दिस काइंड ऑफ अ पॉलिसी ओके सो दिस इन विच पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और आर बी आई इज गिवन पावर्स टू डील विथ विच 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 पार्ट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन यू नो गिवस पावर टू आर बी आई टू यू नो वर्क इन एक्सेप्शनल कंडीशन और इमरजेंसी कंडीशन यू नो प्रेसिडेंट आर ऑल्सो प्रेसिडेंट इज गिवन पावर प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज गिवन पावर टू यू नो एक्स्ट्रा यू नो पावर इन इमरजेंसी सिचुएशन सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड पॉलिसीज विथ दिस परस्पेक्टिव ओके and have a basic idea about econ economy and a basic you know uh, uh, thought process how economist will think but that will be a that will be a, for your foundational purpose but for a law officer you need to correlate it with the legal aspects of this policies now commercial banks nbfcs hfc latest news related today this now commercial banks we all know nbfcs are non banking financial companies these are the actually non banking as name suggests but these are company who gives loan okay there are certain companies who accepts deposits okay these are covered under nbfcs there are certain regulations issued by rbi to deal with nbfcs okay so it is very important housing finance companies are there these are the corporations which we need to you know be updated about it, what kind of a changes now for nbfcs and other recently because of you know there is a crisis and there is you know job job losses everywhere there is a certain kind of a difficult situation faced by all of us to help and to to you know to every to give people money in their hand so that they can again start their business then micro finance companies are there there are there are lot of other companies have come up to you know finance businesses because because there is a need of money in the market uh, because there was no business for a few months and the businesses are struggling to you know generate a finances for a time being because the rolling of money it was you know stopped for certain time so there were you know policies to help these companies to to participate in economic economy development and economic improvement of certain sections of society specifically corporates so these are the recent time policies which we have to consider while preparing for examination credit rating agencies also important to know there are crystal and other credit rating agencies who you know grade the uh, companies uh, credit worthiness and how it has impacted you know the how they have analyzed the companies in this market market situations payment options neft rtgs bharat bit payment these are various new age payment options it helps you to easily transfer money from one to another anywhere in india okay so these are the important new age transfer mechanism how they this work how they have helped you know us and how they have you know improved and developed entire banking sector sarfa c act and npa npa is also latest news because of pandemic there are many lo loan defaulters okay so bank are struggling to you know recover their loan recently uh, uh, last year uh, there was there were notification that home loans you know they they were given 6 months moratorium period so that you know they can you know arrange their funds accordingly and they were given a you know breathing time that okay we all are in a financial crisis you take your 6 months time figure out things and you know come back and pay us what your 6 months amount later on okay so so it it all impacted our banking sector 6 months time is a huge time in banking industry because money circulation you know it impacts money circulation in you know country so all this is covered in your general awareness special reference to banking industry so these all are the aspects i to i specifically told you to that when you read the you know any news regarding banking sector through which perspective you need to analyze it okay we are not we are not preparing to become an economist we are trying to become a law officer so try to 
connect it with the legal aspects and and laws and regulation find out what which news is related to which law which provisions are involved in this okay from where they are drawing the power to make a such policies or conduct a business in this way okay so this needs to be our state of mind and perspective while you know analyzing a banking industry general awareness news so this was our first section second is reasoning ability now here since this video is we will be focused more on legal aspects of this examination legal subjects laws and acts so we will just grow through it you can refer our video specifically for a reasoning ability uh, subjects and topics so you will get enough information and uh, enough information and strategies for this particular section so i will just go through the topics what all are included in a reasoning section of prelims examination so coding decoding machine input output puzzles then there is directors the direction sense test problem based on age tabulation inequality then alpha alpha numeric series logical reasoning clock and calendar uh, questions ranking and order questions data sufficiency questions statement and assumption statements and arguments so puzzles these are the you know topics which you will be dealing with when you prepare for prelims examination of ivps so law officer examination there is a specific you know information and uh, videos available at bank exams today website also and all if you if you really want to uh, know more about this and how to you know approach this particular uh, uh, section of this uh, examination you can contact us at a given number okay you will be guided properly moving ahead with our next subsection that is english section of prelim examination in this section following topics will be covered that is reading comprehensions para jumbles para completion vocabulary error spotting sentence improvement clause test and rearrangement of sentences okay so questions will be asked from this areas and topics now next important topic is main syllabus main in main syllabus pro professional knowledge test will happen that is all the knowledge you have gathered regarding acts and regulation will be you know tested in this paper so it is a 60 questions and each question will carry one mark time limit given is 45 minutes so let's see what all is covered in main syllabus the first one is constitution of india very important legislature of our country all other acts derive their power from constitution of india and all the other constitutional bodies in india also derive their powers from constitution of india in our case rbi is the main constitutional body which we will be you know dealing with so rbi also derives its power from constitution of india so it is very important to correlate why constitution of india is required to be studied particularly with reference to ibps as a law officer examination constitution of india is a bulky document okay you you are not supposed to you know mug up or learn entire constitution of india it is not possible to do that okay indian constitution is the lengthiest constitution in entire world so we will be guiding you what all important aspects you have to study with reference to your banking sector examination that is ibps so law officer examination another important act is indian contract act 1872 pacific relief act 1963 ipc 1860 crpc 1963 indian evidence act 1872 cpc 1900 act these are the main or core law law field acts okay so any law officer who is in the legal field who is practicing will be dealing with these laws in regular basis so very important to understand these laws ipc is very important to understand for 
which kind of uh, offense how much uh, is the you know punishment or what are all are the consequences uh, for non compliance of uh, certain provisions crpc and cpc are procedural laws in which you are supposed to learn that what is the procedure if one of someone has conducted an offense indian evidence act is very important because you all will be dealing on field so many data which you will be gathering so it is very important for you to find out which data and what kind of document is at, of utmost important for, importance for you so that you can identify and present that document as an evidence okay while you present your company for any case okay or or you advise your uh, your uh, uh, company when you are working okay even for law examination even for this ibps sl law, law officer examination the, the idea of putting all these laws is the same that you get an idea brief idea about all the laws so that you you get to get familiar with the practice around it okay jurisprudence and interpretation of statutes it is nothing but the rule of interpretation in this rule of interpretations are explained it is very important to understand rules of interpretations important latin terms and maxims law of tort and consumer protection act companies act 2013 uh, all the companies incorporated incorporated in india and which are of any nature let it be of any nature whether banking non banking of any nature these all are all companies are governed by companies act 2013 and if there is another type if the company's business requires to be regulated by different acts that those acts also will become applicable but primarily companies act will be applicable to all kinds of companies llp act that is limited liability partnership act sebi act securities contract regulation act because you all will you all will be also dealing with securities and how you know transfer of securities and uh, dealing of securities depository act is nothing but uh, demat of shares remat of shares and transfer of securities and how the uh, depository participates and depositories work and deal with such securities taxation laws indian partnership act law of trust and very important rbi act because we all are dealing with banking industry negotiable instrument act is also very important the very important one of the most important negotiable instrument that is check check is the most important negotiable instrument for a banking industry so it is covered under negotiable instrument act 1881 foreign exchange management act is also important because in a banking industry all the banks deal with the foreign currencies foreign uh, transactions conversion of uh, currencies from indian rupees to us dollar or any other uh, currency uh, to deal and to make the transaction happen cross border okay so it is very important what kind of a transaction it is happening whether it is a odi whether it is fdi or what kind of in, uh, is this in, uh, is this transaction is from approved route or it is it is allowed or prior approval of rbi is required for particular transaction or not all this a all these aspects you have to understand thoroughly moving ahead other laws are bankers books evidence act recovery of debt due to banks and financial institutions very important consumer protection act banking abandonment scheme 2006 securitization and reconstruction of financial assets and enforcement of security interest rfsi act 2002 this act is so important because when this act was enacted and made implemented so many problems in the banking sector were you know taken care of such as you know bad debts in the bank books npa in the banks book these all all problems got a new idea and innovative solution to help the bank to maintain their liquidity and to you know uh, so that the ma- in, in economy money circulation is not getting affected because of nps and other you know bad debt uh, situations in the bank's balance sheet 
okay so this is the very important to know the history behind the enactment of any act it helps us to find out the objective behind enactment of act and also it helps us to interpret the act in the proper direction another act is right to information act 2005 transfer of property act 1882 banking regulations act 1949 credit information bureau limited 2000 prevention of money laundering act 2002 it prevention of money laundering now the meaning of money laundering laundering means nothing but to you know uh, remove darts here also it is the same meaning for money laundering which means converting your black money into white money that is to conceal a taxation payment through from government okay so here also you need to understand what kind of a transactions are considered and identified as a money laundering transaction under the prevention of money laundering act 2002 so that you as a law officer can take proper action for such transaction if it is happening another important law is information technology act limitation act arbitration and conciliation act it is very important to know arbitration and conciliation act because it helps to it helps in you know sol uh, have a solution if there is any dispute okay also it is it if it, uh, it is less time consuming process than the courts courts process because it is designed in certain way to you know derive at a conclusion and uh, to and to save courts time and the uh, concerned persons who all are affected by such kind of a complaint okay it is a very important law and mechanism which is still you know still yet to be explored in a full uh, form still it is very new in india transfer of property act is also important for your examination purposes so these are the laws covered under the your main syllabus that is professional knowledge test now in this there we need to understand that this law is prepared considering various aspects okay and to understand and it in in entirety of it it is very difficult to be you know do in this uh, short span of time and it is not even relevant for everyone to understand all the interpretations of the act okay so it is so important to have the relevance of your studies okay the perspective behind reading some such act otherwise your reading will not have any any destination you will not reach any conclusion okay while you reading it so as far as IBPS as a law officer examination is conducted for you all it is very important to you know connect the dots between these laws and your banking sector okay that way you can arrive at a conclusion so why this provision is important what I need to understand more about this provision or a particular act we need to understand the idea behind you know putting all these acts into the your examination and similarly similar way your question paper will also be you know framed to judge you on the basis of how you have you know decoded these laws as far as banking industry is concerned as i as, as i gave you example of constitution of india it is not necessary for you all to understand entire constitution of india because constitution of india to study in uh, in its in depth it is so uh, time consuming also and it is not even you know that much recommended for any other person who is not going to practice law in a supreme court okay it is a lengthy process to reach to that level okay so what we can do we can you know pick out the aspects which are important you we have to study at a glance entire constitution so that we get an idea and insight about it but after that you have to understand how this constitution which article of the constitution which chapter of the constitution schedule of the constitution is important for me with reference to the banking sector and with reference to the IBPS as the law officer examination so all this guidance will be given to you under our course so it helps us to arrive at a destination and to to get the preparation in a proper direction and we are not lost in a way in the journey uh, uh, of this examination okay because law 
to understand law is the vast dimension altogether it is a different different world altogether to understand and interpret the laws now what our course course will uh, include as i already mentioned it will give you the perspective and direction of studying the examination that is the strategy of strategy plan of studying the laws our course will con will cover entire examination process from prelims to main to till your interview round you will be given proper guidance to you know clear your examination till you reach the in, uh, interview round and even when you attempt your interview round you will be given proper preparation plan and complete support for to clear your doubt complete study materials with explanations will be provided to you for your preparations also there will be test series chapter wise also and full length test series also will be given to you so that you can check that where you stand in your preparations before attempting attempting your final examination of ibps as a law officer examination so it will give you idea that where you are lacking which area of your uh, which area or which subject of your examination you have to study more chapter wise video presentations will be provided to you so that important chapters and provisions are covered and you get a proper cl clarity about it systematic strategy and study plan will be provided to you and proper proper guidance will be given to you also we will be guiding you once you reach your interview stage proper guidance will be given to you so that you can attempt your interview round confidently so this is the course feature which bank bank exams today offers specifically to ibps as well as officer examination students who really wish to start preparing their examination preparation and study preparations they can join us and i request you all when you enroll for our course please use the given coupon code so that you can avail our benefit thank you very much if you have any other doubt regarding this course and how you can enroll in this course you can contact us at a given number or you can visit our website thank you